a lawsuit by Democrat, Democratic Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison to hold large fossil fuel firms responsible for deceiving the public oh. on climate change has become a campaign issue as Ellison defends his seat this year. Jim Schultz, his newly minted Republican challenger, for whom we are rooting mightily, mm -hmm. has made an issue of the suit on the campaign trail. In an interview, he described it as frivolous and said the attorney general's office should focus on violent crime. We'll have a guest at one o'clock regarding that matter. Oh, good. Uh, should focus on we're going to have the uh, we're going to have Rob Dubnike. On, good. Uh, From Chris and Rob's uh, Chicago Taste Over at 42nd Hiawatha. We'll hear yeah, what my, he has to say. My old neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Jim Schultz, his newly minted Republican challenger, has made an issue of the suit on the campaign trail. In an interview, he described it as frivolous and said the attorney general's office should focus on violent crime by hiring more prosecutors in that area. It has zero chance at succeeding, Schultz said of the fossil fuel lawsuit. It's fundamentally motivated by headlines and pleasing one side of the political aisle. Uh, and then we get this preposterous quote from Ellison. This lawsuit is in the, is in the long and successful tradition of Minnesota Attorney General standing up to protect Minnesotans from corporate fraud and deception by big tobacco, big pharma, and now big oil, Ellison wrote in an email statement. This is what Minnesotans expect from their Attorney General. It's the right fight to be having. No, it's, no it's not. No, I don't no, expect this. No. And you're a fraud, Ellison. You better be on foot or pedaling a bicycle. Rook, your assignment was to contact the AG's office this morning, and we had one simple question. Does Ellison have a car? Tell us what you had to encounter. So I did call the Attorney General's office, and after uh, some very poor hold music in several minutes, I did talk to a gentleman. I told him exact. I didn't tell him who I was, but I told him exactly what we're looking for. I was doing some research, and I needed to know if Attorney General Ellison indeed owns a car or not. He paused for a while. I said, I know it's a weird question, but it's a legit it's question. It's not even a weird question. I just want to know, can you verify that he owns a vehicle? He said, that's a personal um, personal decision. Yes, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I, I cannot answer for him. You'd have wow. to uh, talk to him in general, in general. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send an email. He gave me an email address. And then I called a different number, stood on hold, and then it was the same guy. So I just hung up. Well, of course uh, he has a car. Of course he has. A not car. after saying that, he shouldn't. But he you better just, be he, on foot. That fraud better be on foot. What you get right there with what Rook just said is just the little snippet of the third rail. The well, protected not only that, class. But Rook, what are their hours on Fridays? Well, they're open 8 to 4.30 Monday through Thursday, but Friday, yeah. 8 to 3.30. Oh, they get off at 3.30 Get a little Friday. start on the weekend. <laughs> this uh, That last paragraph you read, Joe, uh, that's worth reading again. That's when my head exploded reading this thing this morning. This lawsuit, in my mind, is as frivolous as, I don't know, suing fast food places for putting too much lettuce on burgers. It's That's how frivolous and well, stupid it is. Well, I was trying is. to think of an analogy. Uh, I mean, it's I, just, I can't. <laughs> it's so outrageously ridiculous that he's just pulling this out of his backside, forcing it on us, and then telling us, that's what they you want. I'm it's doing like, what you want. It's like suing the manufacturer of forks because forks are used to put food in your stomach. <laughs> yeah, and everybody's fat. Yeah. <laughs> and it, 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 just, you're a fraud, Keith. Right, come on, right. man. God. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Meanwhile, Back what, at the ranch. You, you know, crime is skyrocketing and it's now seeping into the into the suburbs. He doesn't do a damn thing about it. No, no nothing. Not a thing. Seeping into the yeah. suburbs. Just a minute. I'll give you your seeping into the suburbs, pal. Yeah. Joe, I've always agreed that a person is better off far from the tallest buildings and believe for the most part that is still true. But on August 14th, 2022, there was a drive-by shooting in Fulda, Minnesota. What? what? Patrick's hometown. Fulda has a population of under 1,500. This world has lost its mind. I do not want to be a downer, but thought you needed to know this. From just down the road in Brewster, Minnesota, Brennan. Fulda, drive-by shooting. Fulda! I find that so hard to believe, but it's true. I wonder if there's a Gabriel fab. I have people in both Brewster and Fulda. Remind me, where's Brewster? Close Close to Fulda. Fulda. Thank you. Back to Keith Ellison. Go. 
it's uh you're wasting our money keith and you're wasting our time and we need but Joe, Jim Schultz to write this ship. How many people, if we were to poll Minnesotans right now, which might take some time, but how many people would we discover that is completely on board with this decision? Because I bet it's a split. No. No, national surveys. I, I disagree, Chris. I, national God, I surveys. Don't I don't know. But you guys, this summer, we've had a couple of different surveys saying that climate change is the lowest of lows on America's cons with Americans. I can't. I guess talk. Come on. with Come our on. concerns. The reason Sorry. I say that, Kenny, is Joe and I were discussing this <laughs> before we started to record. And I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the ads being run on, especially on television, of the 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 difference of the campaign between Walls and Jensen. And we can get into the semantics of that. The only thing that Governor Walls is talking about is abortion. That's it. Nothing else. Well, yeah, that's all they've got. That's exactly what Joe said. That's yeah. all they have to run. There's, on. More going There's on. nothing else that they can. They they're can claim. Yeah, yeah. and they're hiding. Right. You know, he refuses to debate Jensen. Mm -hmm. But it's the same thing here, because Ellison knows that he will lose to Schultz if if the crime thing becomes the major topic, which it should be. It has to be. It is with most citizens. Their voices just aren't being heard. And the people that think that this is just a Minneapolis problem or this is just a Twin Cities problem or a Metro problem, ladies and gentlemen, when you're placing your vote for either Ellison or Jim Schultz, this affects the entire state. I got news for you. Jim Schultz is clear-headed and he's not motivated by a theological constituency the way Ellison is. This is this is Ellison just riding the coattails of the Green Movement. It has nothing to do with improving the lives of Minnesotans. None. It has no chance of surviving. It's too expensive. He's using our money. And he's a fraud. He has a car. I'm just going to state that. He has a car. Keith, call me and tell me if you don't. But and but you better not. You better be on a bicycle. Skateboard skateboard roller skates or walking because you can't be this disingenuous you cannot possibly be this hypocritical wait a minute what if he calls you tomorrow and says he's got an e-bike wait well, a second wait 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 well uh, before you go into that hasn't he also hung his hat you know, uh, the same as walls on the abortion issue yes hasn't yes. he done something declared yes. minnesota a, yes uh, minnesota is a sanctuary free for all? state and yeah. please come here and, and right and okay you know. now back to the electric bicycle well if he had an electric bike you'd give him a pass if he got it from ecofi oh, there we go if he